Scientists' fears. Would the A-bomb ignite the atmosphere? In the tense days leading up to the Trinity test, the world's first atomic bomb detonation on July 16, 1945, some Manhattan Project scientists grappled with a nightmarish possibility that the bomb's extreme heat and energy could trigger a runaway fusion reaction in Earth, says atmosphere, fusing nitrogen atoms, or hydrogen in water vapor, into heavier elements and releasing enough energy to incinerate the planet. This atmospheric ignition scenario, first raised by physicist Edward Teller in 1942, wasn't a fringe worry, but a legitimate scientific concern that demanded rigorous calculation. While it was ultimately deemed impossible, the fear was real enough for Enrico Fermi to jokingly take bets among colleagues on whether the blast would merely destroy New Mexico or destroy the world. The story, dramatized in Christopher Nolan's 2023 film Oppenheimer, highlights the high-stakes uncertainty of pioneering nuclear physics amid World War II's urgency. The Origin of the Fear the idea emerged during early Manhattan Project discussions on fusion as a potential bomb booster. Teller, later dubbed the father of the hydrogen bomb, speculated that as the fission bomb, its core temperatures, reaching tens of millions of degrees Kelvin, might ignite a self-sustaining reaction in the air as 78% nitrogen. He proposed that two nitrogen-14 nuclei could fuse into carbon and oxygen, liberating neutrons and energy in a chain reaction akin to stellar fusion in the sun. This could propagate outward, consuming the atmosphere and even oceans via deuterium in seawater, turning Earth into a fireball. Teller shared this at a 1942 Berkeley meeting, sparking alarm. Project director J. Robert Oppenheimer consulted Arthur Compton, a Nobel-winning physicist leading the Chicago lab, who reportedly said that even a one in three million risk warranted halting work. Better to accept the slavery of the Nazis than to run the chance of drawing the final curtain on mankind. Compton later exaggerated the odds in his 1956 memoir, Atomic Quest for Dramatic Effect, but the concern prompted immediate scrutiny. The calculations, proving the impossible, Hans Beth, head of the project's theoretical division, quickly crunched the numbers. Using hand calculations, no computers yet, he modeled energy balance. Would fusion gains outpace losses via radiation, conduction, and expansion? The verdict? No. Atmospheric densities and temperatures were too low for sustained fusion. Energy would dissipate faster than it built up. Emil Konopinski and others refined this in a 1946 Los Alamos report, declassified in 1979, confirming a massive safety margin. Ignition was simply impossible, not probabilistic, 